Welcome to Waku Kickboxing Talks. Today, my guest here is uh, Mr. Zoran Titswara. He is the organizer and the promoter of a European Cup called Zagreb Open. So welcome, Mr. Zoran. Nice to have you here. Welcome to you and to all the kickboxing friends in the whole world. So our first question is your event, the Zagreb Open, has always been a very high quality competition. Uh, could you tell us a few words about the long road that led to the event and how did it start in the first place? Carlo Atz was first the Little International Tournament. It started in 2006 in Carlo Atz in Small Sports Hall. And after that, every year was rising. And 2017, he already had 1,800 competitors and became a European Cup. So it was a... It was very, very uh, long uh, distance from a no from normal little tournament to European Cup. Yeah, it's been a long road. So the European Cup is one of the sports flagship events, and uh, therefore it, there's a major focus on the attention it gets. What results do you expect from the event? First, we must know that the European Cup is a continental cup who is scored for the world rank list. It is something that is very important for every fighter who want to be better and better. And, uh, you know, everybody wants to come to take points for the uh, world rank list. But it is not only uh, the reason that uh, so many people come to Karlats now Zagreb. You know, my team, Sitsvara team, go everywhere to every another competition and uh, support all coaches who will make his competition. So they back on the way that come to my tournament and say, Zoran, now we are here. So it is a very big, important thing for me. We must know that the European Cup have now the, the book of standard. And, and this year it will be something very, very good because everybody, Continental Cup, Europe Cup, need to be better than last year's. So it is many, many things who we we, we need to make what the last years we do not make. So, okay. you know, the big arena, the, the many things in arena who must be better, pressary, whippery, everything what is on the big competition in the world. Yeah, it's a, it's a very big challenge. So, and we all know that fighters love to come to Zagreb. Bring us a piece of the atmosphere from your tournament. What do you like to do the most? You know, uh, what I like, I like that I, uh, I, I come uh, to every every coach in, uh, in uh, my tournament and uh, everybody knows uh, me and I know everybody. And this hug, when they, when they come with each other, uh, this is what, what is uh, most important. The competitors are uh, from all over the Europe. So that is something what, what is good for uh, <clears throat> their friendships, you know, so... Oh. Everybody from my team have very good friends from other countries and who knows, in the future, maybe somebody from my team go living to another country and he will not be stranger. He have his friend in another country and it is, it is something very good, you know, I know. this is the sport. Yeah. That's the sport spirit. And what would you say are the main challenges in setting everything down for this kind of event? Hmm. The problem. The, the biggest problem in an organization like this big tournament is, uh, of course, financial, because it is many, many costs, what we need to cover. And uh, it is good that the government of Croatia gives support to my tournament and the Olympic committee. So, so, you know, it is very, very important because not only for my competition, but for VACO, because, uh, you know, everybody knows for kickboxing because, uh, we have biggest competition in Croatia in the mixed martial arts. So this is a very important thing, you know, when we come to Olympic committee and say, oh, we know kickboxing, European Cup, Carlos, now Zagreb. Okay. But everybody knows kickboxing by my tournament. So it is very, very good. Yeah, it's definitely a big deal. And there are currently four European Cups. Do you exchange experiences, good practices between each other? Of course, we are very good friends and we are all time on the computer. Uh, Zoran, uh, try this. Zoran, uh, make this. Uh, Nikos, try this. I think this is good. Uh, so we, we are very good friends and uh, we support each other. I was in Antenna last week, before two weeks. 
right. and support right? Nikos Kremlos because he's my, uh, I don't say brother, but he's my very good friend and we are, we are like brother. So, so no, he will come to Zagreb, I come to Athena and I will go to Amsterdam, I will go to Sarajevo. So, yeah. you know, it is very important that we are, uh, have a very good uh, relationship. Like yeah, you're building a community in some sort of way. And how do the fighters from Croatia feel about the event? Do they like to come to Zagreb and which countries are traditionally the most numerous ones? Croatian fighters, of course, like to come to Carlo, it's to Zagreb. Now, El Zagreb open, now is Zagreb open, but it is the, the soul of Carlo, it's, you know, yeah. that, that not lose. Yeah. So they like to come to competition because it is a must, much stronger competition in this area. I believe this year uh, maybe will be 2,500, maybe 3,000, 3, we will see. But, uh, you know, it is a big number and it is a very big, very big number of uh, excellent fighters. So, of course, they will come. But uh, the country who, who is most, most bigger, big, uh, most bigger number is Hungary, traditionally, and Bulgaria. And, of course, that there is Israel, there is Italy, there is many other countries who, who love to come to Carlos. Yeah, it's a, it's a very big number, a very big country. Yeah. 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 And uh, over... for example, for example, uh, it is about 300 to 400 Hungarians uh, and Croatian as uh, 400, almost same. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Bulgarian, it is a big number so fields for this country. Yeah, big number for only one country, exactly. Yeah. And uh, of course, we in Vaco are trying to set the standards for the events um, and uh, the minimum conditions, which can be similar and standardized for uh, each European Cup, um, are set like every single year, basically. And so, what is your comment on that? Uh, what would you say about it? Only comment is that this is fantastic uh -huh. because we need we need to be better. Better, better and better. So if we want to be one, one day uh, Olympic uh, sport on the Olympic Games, uh, we need to show what we are. So only the only way that uh, we can show good things, it is to have good, good competition. Yeah, exactly. With, good, with big standard, with big standard. Exactly. And what would you like to ask the um, WACU Europe management to do to help the promoters of the European Cups in the future? With this book of standard, they make already very, very big, very big thing because they, they help us to have uh, all the standard of no European Cup saying, mm -hmm. this is good. And the live stream is now in organization of a European, European Federation. And for the end, is there anything that you want to say as a message to the participants? What I need to say it is, you know, we are all sportsmen. We are coaches, we are, we need to have a soul of sport inside uh, our, our soul. So I'd like to, to say welcome to Zagreb and it will be a very, very good, fantastic competition. I think the level of European Cup in Zagreb will be much higher than last year's. So I think everybody need to come to see this. It, it is like, like spaceship. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So thank you so much, Mr. Zoran, for being here and thank you for having this interview with us. Hope to see you again sometime and hope to speak to you again. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I want to see you in Zagreb. Okay? Yeah, of course. And thank you so much for the viewers for watching another episode and see you in the next one. Goodbye.